Well, in keeping with the previous video uh, theme um, of, I don't know, premium BlackBerry devices, I have here the BlackBerry Bolt 9000 and also in for review from a friend of mine, the BlackBerry Bolt 9780. Bit of a precursor uh, to this uh, bulky looking device. I don't know if this one was right straight away the next one, I believe not, but anyway, I don't really think that's of any relevance today. So let's just discuss the main differences, because at this point I have uh, ranted on at length uh, about the BlackBerry uh, theme and uh, nostalgia factor and so on. So this one is a bit smaller uh, than the BlackBerry 9000 Bold, at uh, 109 by 60 by 14 millimeters so just a smidge smaller but a bit lighter as well um, the construction though is uh, I don't know I wouldn't call it flimsy or bad but it's just a bit of a downgrade compared to this bolt well in my opinion anyway I mostly believe that that is due to the lack of a proper metallic um, uh, outer rim that held the chassis in place. Uh, this one is clearly um, um, plated plastic on the BlackBerry 9780 model as opposed to the 9000 model which I wasn't sure if it was metal or not but I do tend to believe this is metal. Other differences in construction, well, there's a slight, um, I don't know, a slight uh, slope here to the 9780. I guess it looks a bit uh, sleeker with a less pronounced brow, but really that's, um, that's uh, subjective, I guess. There's still a jack port on this phone as well, and the back, uh, cover for the battery is still made or covered with a piece of leather though if it's actually natural leather or some sort of synthetic vinyl material I can't really tell for sure I don't think it's relevant either since it's covered in um, in a protective paint and uh, treated so if it's plastic or leather it makes no real difference so now for a bit of uh, technical trivia this phone offers a 5 megapixel autofocus shooter and it runs a 624 megahertz processor same as the previous 9000 bolt that I presented but it does however offer uh, more RAM at 512 gigabytes and a 256 internal memory. It does have a micro SD slot for expanded memory and it does offer the same array of uh, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and uh, all the other bits and pieces that you could find on a 2010 phone. So let's move to the tabletop view, see what, what the phone looks on the inside and um, start it up. I was mentioning in my previous video on the 9000 Bolt that I only had the one battery. This is the actual phone from which uh, the battery came. Uh, it's my friend Claudius or Claude's phone. Um, and uh, really he gave me a bunch of old uh, GSM phones to review. So let me just insert the SIM card as well. Okay, so here is the back cover. Uh, pretty uh, flimsy, but then again, you wouldn't handle it without it being attached on the phone. The battery, same as before, a 15 milliamp hour unit. And here is the back of the phone. Pretty basic and straightforward. Let me just zoom in and show you what the writing um, is just inside the phone. There we go. 
So let's just attach the battery and see how this thing fares up in 2022. It will take some time to boot up. So this phone offers a 65,000 color TFT display, same as the 9000 volt um, that I presented before in terms of technology but the screen uh, dimension is down at 2.44 inches diagonal as opposed to 2.6 yet the resolution is increased at 480 by 360 pixel at a total of 246 pixel per inch density slightly higher than this model but slightly lower dimensions just a fact for you Let's try to call this uh, device and see if this one still works. Yeah, so the thing works quite well uh, without any issues, doesn't lose any signal and so on. So now I guess I can just move on, take a picture and discuss a bit about this device, see if I can draw up some conclusions. The BlackBerry camera uh, module has never been something to write home about and I guess it's no different in this phone either. Yeah, so as you can see uh, the results are much more... Um, offer much higher detail but really the phone itself still doesn't shine when it comes to camera technology nor should it really because it's a business oriented device it's a very well built device though not quite on par with uh, the the older my older 9000 series uh, in my personal opinion the QWERTY keyboard is way more ergonomic in this older series. There's also this much more desirable uh, pearl uh, scroll thing here on the middle as, ex as opposed to this capacitive button here. But that's just my personal take on it. Also, I don't like the fact that the display, while actually offering a higher resolution, is a bit smaller in physical size compared to the older model. I also don't prefer the construction of this newer device as it's mainly plastic uh, in contrast, in stark contrast with the older device which offers an actual metallic element to the, to the chassis or the outer uh, housing of the phone. So, yeah, it's a bit of a downplay and I guess this was foreshadowing the downfall of BlackBerry when you look at things in perspective. On the other hand, that's just me overanalyzing things. Uh, do I think this is a collectible item? Yes, most certainly. Is it more desirable than the 9000 series? Well, that comes to the preference. I think this older model is uh, more instantly recognizable as the iconic BlackBerry design in a way that a Porsche 911 will always be a Porsche 911. I don't know if that analogy makes sense, but yeah, you get the picture. This one tended to be a bit more modern, but also cut a bit cor cut some corners in terms of construction and uh, material quality. But if you have the chance, I say go for it. Uh, true value of such a device would, I guess, be around 50 euros for a fully functioning complete unit, maybe with some accessories. Don't overpay for these things. Don't fall for the trap of um, being um, sold as new, quote unquote, by, cus by sellers, because I don't think many units are left out there which are actually new but a fairly good condition one would fetch around 50 euros or that's my take on it rather 
Um, I guess that's been it for me. Um, and remember, I mostly buy, hoard and collect useless, obsolete and quirky tech stuff like these examples here, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.